Uh, if your loved one passed away from COVID-19, there's a federal program that's helping people cover the cost of funerals. So when it first launched last week, the toll free phone line was ringing off the hook. But consumer investigator Kristen Byrne reminds families there is no deadline to apply. Since online applications are not accepted, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, also known as FEMA, admitted it was inundated with calls when it first launched its funeral reimbursement program. A lot of people had a hard time getting through. But now that we're about a week in, people that we've spoken with say that has improved. We are dedicated to helping ease some of the financial stress and burden created by this deadly virus. FEMA's nationwide funeral reimbursement program is funded with $2 billion from recent federal relief acts and provides $9,000 per funeral and up to $35,500 per applicant if someone lost more than one family member. Or is that enough to cover the cost of a funeral? The average cost of a funeral is anywhere between $7,000 to $9,500. So that's within that range. Dr. Camelia Clark, funeral director from Milwaukee's Paradise Memorial Funeral Home, is working to keep clients aware of the financial help since you need to show proof of the costs. We've been notifying families that we work with to come on in. We will help you assemble all the receipts that you need. Her funeral home's website prominently displays the FEMA program and other links with helpful information. FEMA says payments for things like caskets or urns, burial plots, headstones, clergy services, cremation costs, and more are covered. Unfortunately, we've had families who uh, not only experience single deaths, uh, you know, double and triple deaths. To qualify, the death must have occurred in the United States. The death certificate has to show the person's death was attributed to COVID-19. And the person applying has to be a U.S. citizen, non-citizen national, or a lawful permanent resident who had funeral expenses after January 20th, 2020. We put the direct funeral assistance number and helpful links with frequently asked questions about this program in this story on TMJ4.com. I'm consumer investigator Kristen Byrne. And be cautious if you get a call or email from someone saying they can help you register for this program. It's a sign of a potential scam. FEMA is getting reports of this happening. The agency stresses it does not contact people to help them apply for this.